Hi, this is Roger Eastlick, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom registration form in the WordPress plugin Wishlist Member. And as we can see here, here's a typical uh, default uh, membership form for a Wishlist Member to uh, for for new members to register themselves with your membership site. As you can see, it's quite quite basic. They get asked for username, first name, last name, email and then the password you can submit your registration now what happens if you want to for example uh, find out uh, where the person's from maybe you want to know the city or the state or the country or some other information which is specific to the type of users you have logging in that'll help you know um, give you more information be able to um, allow you to create content and uh, sort of modify your content maybe to fit your customers better well in wishlist member you've got the ability to create a, a custom membership form and the way you do that is you go over to the wishlist member uh, plugins dashboard and you click on settings and then registration page and custom registration forms and over here to the right you've got a, form, uh, a link that says create new form so we're going to go ahead and click on that and now here you see the uh, registration form again with the default uh, fields in it and now you got the ability to add or remove fields as you'd like so for example you've got standard standard fields like text or text box drop down list radio buttons uh, check boxes or hidden fields um, you also have WordPress, I guess, built-in um, WordPress fields. They're variables that WordPress are native to WordPress and WordPress understands down here. Um, and then you can do special fields. So let's, as an example, let's just say that you wanted to put in a, a drop-down box. So all we do is click and drag it over to the right-hand side. And we'll put it right down here and what we're going to do is you're going to want to have a label that's going to be the label you're going to see over on the left hand side so let's for let's go with for example state all right and then you're going to name that field that's just sort of the variable name to it just make that the same pretty much and then the default option one we're going to say please select and then the option one is going to be please select and then let's say we're going to do Indiana uh, Ohio and Michigan of course I'm from Michigan that's why we're using those states <laughs> so anyway all we do is go down to, down, to, down to the bottom oh by the way at the top here you can uh, name your registration form any way you want to uh, it's custom registration form Number one. Okay. So we go down here to the bottom and click on submit registration. Uh, I'm sorry. Come down all the way hit down here to the bottom and click on save registration form. And now it's been saved. And now as you can see, oh by the way, I could have made this. A, you can make this a required field or a non-required field. Right now it's non-required. And uh, if you click on the drop-down box, of course, then you see the Indiana, Ohio, Michigan. And if we go, if we go over here, um, now actually what we want to do is to um, make, sort of plug that into one of the registration settings. We're going to go over here to the header footer and click on that. We're going to choose the membership level. So let's say we're going to go with the bronze and down here you have the ability to choose the registration form right now it's default click on the drop down box and it shows our newly created custom registration form number one we select that click on save settings and now if I go over here to uh, the membership level and if I hit F5 to refresh then now you see in addition to the other other fields that were there I also have the um, 
the state field and there are the selections right there now one thing to note is that your your um, no, I guess there's nothing to note there, is there? Anyway, that is the custom registration form for Wishlist member. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, this is Roger Eastlick. Have a great day.